Hi guys, this is the second part of Back to Basics series. Today we will see how we can create users, groups, and roles. All these three are basics of service now. So let's go ahead and create one of the users. If you type users in the application bar as well, you can see users here, and you can go ahead and create. A new user or there are some out of the box users as well you can also create users by LDAP integration we will take up LDAP integration in our future videos if I go ahead and create a new user so I will give the name as Harry dot sync so user ID is basically dependent on your company criteria you can have uh, employee IDs in user ID so this is basically the field through which the user logins in service now so this is the user ID and the password they choose I will give the first name the last name and if any titles maybe they are the director or associate director or anything so I'll choose director and to which department they belong maybe to technology or some other area or finance okay. so if, if we want to set a password default password for them we can do it from here I'm doing this as welcome at the rate one two three right now the next checkbox is password needs reset so whenever user logs in for the first time with this default password he will need to reset his password the next one is logged out if the user is logged out by chance maybe entering the password three times and then this checkbox will be checked automatically and if you come back here as an admin if you uncheck this the again the account will be unlocked active is for if the users are currently active in your organization or they are still in your organization uh, and once they leave the organization they, you can mark this as unchecked again this can be done through integrations this is all automated you don't have to do it manually next is web service access only so these users are only for integration purposes not from logging in UI okay so they cannot log in through user interface they have only integration rights and again internal integration user is only for bypassing WSS security this is also part of the integration and if you want to mark any location why like where they are located maybe India or maybe to some specific state or maybe to some specific city so that again depends on your organization structure and then you can also define a schedule from them what time they work from or what particular shift and the mobile phone the business phone and which time zone they are working and the email ID and the calendar integration like if you want to manage their outlook calendar then you can have an integration setup for that as well and if you want to mark any particular skills they have maybe uh, language skills or maybe some particular customer skills or maybe the IT skills so this becomes easier for managers to choose between the users what exactly skill they want I'll right click on the top of the header and I will save this so a new user has been created called Harry Singh and you can go ahead and log in with Harry Singh as well which will we do in a moment next comes groups so groups are a group of particular people who are assigned to do the same things maybe change approvers or maybe a uh, change initiators or anything or maybe uh, you can go ahead and create with respect to the teams as well whose duties are similar we will go ahead and create a group as well so you can see there are some out of the box groups 
network database order support and so on if we want to create a group maybe testing group you can have a manager as well so this manager is directly linked to the users table and you can go ahead and have a manager for uh, this group and I will make Harjit Singh as the manager here and I will save this you can optionally have the group email ID um, and what type of group is this and whether is there any parent of this particular group so you can see the group types ITIL survey and so on so you can go ahead and create some of your own maybe the incident group or the change group as well so this has been saved right now you can see here there are multiple tabs first is the roles so we will discuss roles later group members if you want to add any group members to this particular group if I want to add the user which we created I will save this so Harry will now be the part of this testing group and whoever we want to be part of this group we can go ahead and click edit and make part of this group and if we want any groups under this we can go ahead and do that and this testing group will be the parent of that group again skills are similar to what we have seen in the users so if you want this particular group to have some specific skills of people uh, maybe uh, a French speaking people or maybe English speaking people location covered is at what particular location this particular group is located or multiple locations maybe uh, India US China or anything okay now we have created a group which harassing is part of next we move on to roles roles define what a particular user or a group can do roles can be assigned to a group and a user as well best practices from ServiceNow suggest you need to assign roles to a particular group so whenever a user is a part of the group he will inherit that roles automatically and whenever he leaves the group all the roles will be removed automatically so for example if we have five admins in our service now right now and if we want to remove anyone and or if we want to give role to anyone we can just add or remove them from this particular group so right now if you go ahead and see there are 19 users and if just I want to remove some admins from this particular role I will just remove them by clicking the edit here so this is the admin role you can see here uh, name of the uh, role and require subscription is unspecified and a description if you want to give any contains role is a role can have multiple roles under that so whenever I assign admin role this particular roles will also be assigned to that users we will take an example and do that as well and you can see here and uh, you can have modules under the roles as well modules uh, are something under the application so system security is the application and modules are users and group and users so we will take up this as well in our future videos and what users are part of this group you can go ahead and create a new user by clicking on new or maybe if you want to add any user to this role you can go ahead and do that as well so we'll take an example of ITIL so you can see ITIL can perform standard ITIL help, de help desk technician things and they, these are out of the box uh, roles okay. and if I go ahead and see under this
it contains 12 roles and one of the roles is cmdb underscore read so this suggests if I give ITL role to anyone or any group the users under that will automatically inherit this CMD CMDB read role so they will be able to read the application data or the computer data or any thing what is related to the assets or the configuration items so we will go to groups and we will go to the group which we created called testing group and I will add a role called ITIL and I will save this so you see the messages the roles what were under ITL were also assigned to Harry Singh automatically and to this particular group and from now on if I add any group member here they will be automatically assigned that role as well maybe if I uh, add Ad Adobe user A you can see here all the roles are automatically assigned to Adobe user A so this is very convenient and the best practices to maintain the roles and the groups so there is another functionality in service now for the admins called impersonate user so impersonate a particular user who are present in service now so if I go ahead and do it for my new user I will be logged in as Harry and the things which he can see will be displayed to me so I am basically logged in as Harry so if you remember I gave him the ITL role which also gave him the CMDB role as well so there is an application called configuration which is also out of the box and you can see here they can, this Harry can view any application data or any computer data or they can view any server data as well so you have to also give this role very carefully to particular users and you can see this he can read this data so this is how we administrate user groups and roles let me know in comment section in case of any questions i hope you like this video do subscribe to my channel thank you